number three is asking us to find the arc length of PQ. And so you can either look on your formula sheet to find the arc length corollary, or you can remember a formula that looks like this. If you're trying to find the arc length, in this case we don't know what that is, but it's going to form a proportion. That will go on top, and we're going to compare arc length to the total circle length, which is known as the circumference. And then that is going to be proportionate to the measure of the arc, or I'm going to put for short here, the arc degrees over the total measure of the circle, which is 360 degrees, always. All right, so find the length of the arc. We don't know it. I'll call that x. On the bottom, find the circumference. Uh, well, they give us the radius, so I can use that to find the circumference. Uh, 2 pi r which is 12.8, so those will multiply by each other, equals uh, the measure of this arc is 133 degrees, and that's out of 360. So this is how you would have to set it up, and from here we're going to cross multiply. Uh, so on one side you have x times 360, on the other side you have 2 pi times 12.8 times 133. I would usually just type that in my calculator. So 2 times pi times 12.8 times 133 equals, and I get about 10,696. But it actually keeps going. I'm going to keep that number on my calculator because the very next step is to divide both sides by 360. So on my calculator, I'll just press divided by 360. Notice I have not pressed clear at all. You want to try not to round until the very end. And so now I will round to 29.7, and this is meters. So that arc length is approximately 29.7 meters.